Anarchism Without Hyphens. Carl Hess, 1980. There is only one kind of anarchist, not two, just one. An anarchist, the only kind as defined by the long tradition and literature of the position itself, is a person in opposition to authority imposed through the hierarchical power of the state. The only expansion of this that seems to me reasonable to say is that an anarchist stands in opposition to any imposed authority. An anarchist is a voluntarist. Now, beyond that, anarchists also are people, and as such contain the billion-faceted varieties of human reference. Some are anarchists who march voluntarily to the cross of Christ. Some are anarchists who flock voluntarily to the communes of beloved inspirational father figures. Some are anarchists who seek to establish the syndics of voluntary industrial production. Some are anarchists who voluntarily seek to establish the rural production of the kibbutzim. Some are anarchists who voluntarily seek to disestablish everything, including their own association with other people, the hermits. Some are anarchists who will deal voluntarily only in gold, will never cooperate, and swirl their capes. Some are anarchists who voluntarily worship the sun and its energy, build domes, eat only vegetables, and play the dulcimer. Some are anarchists who worship the power of algorithms, play strange games, and infiltrate strange temples. Some are anarchists who see only the stars. Some are anarchists who see only the mud. They spring from a single seed, no matter the flowering of their ideas. The seed is liberty, and that is all it is. It is not a socialist seed. It is not a capitalist seed. It is not a mystical seed. It is not a determinist seed. It is simply a statement. We can be free. After that, it's all choice and chance. Anarchism, liberty, does not tell you a thing about how free people will behave or what arrangements they will make. It simply says the people have the capacity to make the arrangements. Anarchism is not normative. It does not say how to be free. It says only that freedom, liberty, can exist. Recently, in a libertarian journal, I read the statement that libertarianism is an ideological movement. It may well be. In a concept of freedom, it, they, you, or we, anyone, has the liberty to engage in ideology or anything else that does not coerce others, denying their liberty. But anarchism is not an ideological movement. It is an ideological statement. It says that all people have a capacity for liberty. It says that all anarchists want liberty. And then it is silent. After the pause of that silence, anarchists then mount the stages of their own communities and history and proclaim their, not anarchism's, ideologies. They say how they, how they as anarchists, will make arrangements, describe events, celebrate life, work. Anarchism is the hammer idea, smashing the chains. Liberty is what results, and in liberty, everything else is up to people and their ideologies. It is not up to the ideology. Anarchism says, in effect, there is no such uppercase dominating ideology. It says that people who live in liberty make their own histories and their own deals with and within it. A person who describes a world in which everyone must or should behave in a single way, marching to a single drummer, is simply not an anarchist. A person who says that they prefer this way, even wishing that all would prefer that way, but who then says that all must decide, may certainly be an anarchist. Probably is. Liberty is liberty. Anarchism is anarchism. Neither is Swiss cheese or anything else. They are not property. They are not copyrighted. They are old, available ideas, part of human culture. They may be hyphenated, but they are not, in fact, hyphenated. They exist on their own. People add hyphens and supplemental ideologies. Liberty, finally, is not a box into which people are to be forced. Liberty is a space in which people may live. It does not tell you how they will live. It says eternally only that we can.